Hello friends, my name is Jeff Levine and I will be your instructor for Kinesiology 2314 Sport Management. This is an introductory level class and the purpose really is to uh, educate you and, and get you to understand the fundamentals of sport management, what that entails, and what you can really do and be in the industry. Uh, when you uh, leave the class, you should have a baseline knowledge about uh, the different aspects that make up sport management. Uh, some of the seminal issues, some of the foundational knowledge, and then also maybe an idea of uh, what you might want to do or be if you're so inclined. So um, the purpose of this video really is to give you a brief introduction about the class, go through a little bit of the syllabus, educate you a little bit about Blackboard, and then uh, that's it. So it will be a pretty short uh, video. So the first part uh, of the video is going to talk about Blackboard. Since this is a um, online class, uh, fully online, Blackboard is really going to need to be your best friend. Uh, I would encourage you to get very familiar with Blackboard. So the first thing you're going to want to check out is the start here, which is going to be uh, some information about your instructor, yours truly. So uh, I do have a, a legal background. Uh, I have a JD uh, from Tulane uh, University Law School, and I am also finishing uh, my doctorate in sport management um, at, from the University of Louisville. And I also have an undergraduate uh, background in sport management and have worked in the field in different capacities. And so sort of this varied uh, experience, I think, really can help me provide unique perspective, both from an academic, theoretical, as well as uh, workplace perspective and bring it all together to help you understand how uh, sport management works. So this is the start here. And then you'll also want to get familiar with content, which is going to be where uh, the modules are for each class. Um, each week you'll have uh, a new module come live and it will give you the assignments of what you need to do. So you've got uh, the folder right here that initially lays out what your expectations are and then your to-do list is right here and then you'll also have your lecture and an assignment in this instance you have a acknowledgement form to uh, fill out at the end of the syllabus um, there's a form for you to uh, read and sign to indicate that you understand the syllabus and that you've read it um, so the, the few things um, of importance are uh, of course the content uh, knowing how to get to the discussion form, which is going to have weekly discussions for you to do, and then also um, the syllabus itself. So the syllabus is right here. If you click on this link, then uh, the syllabus will come live. So the syllabus here uh, will give you the uh, basics. Uh, we meet online, where I'm located, my office hours if you're so inclined to talk to me. Um, and as well as uh, my contact information. I highly encourage you to get in touch with me uh, because I would love to meet my students and it's tough to get in touch with students um, when it's not in a brick and mortar class. So I try to be very uh, available for my students. Um, in terms of method and instruction, um, the classroom cafe is something that I do where uh, if a student has a question, they can go ahead and they can, uh, and they don't feel comfortable emailing me, they can contact me on the Classroom Cafe. And that's gonna be under the um, discussion form right here, on right here, Classroom Cafe, at the top, you just click on that and you'll create a thread and I look at it periodically. Um, so the, met, the breakdown here is uh, pretty work intensive. There's discussion, there's weekly discussion boards, usually weekly quizzes, weekly assignments, and a final exam. So if you keep up and you're pretty consistent with turning in your work, you'll have a good chance of getting a good grade on the final exam. So each week expect at least one, uh, sometimes two discussion boards. There'll be a quiz, uh, usually about 10 to 20 questions. Uh, you'll have about a minute and a half per question. And there'll be an assi uh, applied assignment to help uh, ferret out what we discussed in the textbook and bring it to life. Um, you can see here, um, here's the outline, so it's fairly straightforward. We're doing about one or two chapters a week. And then uh, class policies, um, since this is an asynchronous class, attendance is uh, in the form of discussion boards and doing your work, so make sure to do that. Um, late assignments will not be accepted, that's the default, so the only way 
that um, I could give consideration for missing an assignment and allowing you to make it up as if it's a university supported reason. Um, so anything that's allowed by uh, TMUCC. Uh, textbook, uh, make sure to get Master Lexus, Bar, and Hums. That's the textbook we use, so please get that. Uh, there are older versions. If you don't want to get the fifth version because it's too expensive, you can get an older version, although it might be lacking some, um, some aspects uh, of the current version, but and you might be, uh, it might hurt you on quizzes. But I understand that money can be, uh, can be tight. Academic uh, honesty or dishonesty, uh, just please don't cheat, don't copy uh, someone else's work, don't forge, don't engage in plagiarism. Uh, there are tools that the university has at our disposal to make sure that, uh, to monitor for that. Um, if you uh, do have a qualified disability and you would like a reasonable accommodation, feel free to reach out or speak with the Disability Services Office for assistance. You are entitled to that by law. And make sure that you, uh, if you are looking to drop a class, that you drop it within the time frame. At the end, here you've got the syllabus acknowledgement form, which is at the bottom of the syllabus. So you're going to want to go ahead and print that out, or just uh, you could just uh, do this, and then Jeff Levine. And then you could just do your signature. You do a signature like this, Jeff Dean, and you can put the date, uh, whatever date it is. And then you can go ahead and uh, upload that. You can take a picture of it. You can print it or turn it into a PDF. You can save it as a PDF right here. You can go save as, go to browse, and then you can turn it into a uh, PDF right here by clicking on PDF. And then it'll turn it into a PDF, and you can just upload it you would be uploading it under content week one class and then syllabus acknowledgement form right down here upload it right here or you can just take a picture from your phone save it to, and, and upload it so that's really covers the basics again i'm excited to have you uh with me along this journey please don't hesitate to, to um reach out uh, i try to return emails uh within 24 hours and uh don't be a stranger uh, thanks, and I look forward to meeting you uh, in the real world.